my mother was a selective racist. And I didn't really understand this growing up, obviously. It took me a while to catch on. So I was never allowed to have friends over to our house. We didn't have one of those kinds of houses. Like literally I snuck my best friend in once to show her my room. Otherwise I never had friends in the house. At school, I had all different kinds of friends and my two best friends, one was a boy who happened to be black and one was a girl who happened to be from Guatemala. And we were like the three musketeers, grade four. My mother found out. I wasn't allowed to go to their house. And she told me I couldn't be friends with them specifically because of the color of their skin. Literally use those words. And obviously I didn't understand that and it didn't break the friendships for me. It just meant that I couldn't go to their house and that I was yet again made to feel different and couldn't explain to them why. I'm not gonna hurt their feelings. And I don't understand why I can't be friends with them. Like. I'm glad I didn't understand. And then fast forward a little bit, and we were spending a lot of time in the Bahamas. My stepfather had a business that going on there. And we were staying at a house with a black family. <laughs> and I'm thinking, but I can't be friends and I don't understand. And I'm playing with the kids in the house and I'm having the best time, but I'm looking over at my mother, scared that you know I'm gonna get in trouble not understanding what's going on. Eventually I figured it out. If you had green, green was my mother's color. If you had money, then it didn't matter what the color of your skin was. She wasn't a racist against a particular race of people. She was against anyone who couldn't level her up, who she couldn't use or get something from. 